record about whether your local police department is disproportionately pulling certain people over. There is a new website that's tracking this data. Yeah, the governor says it's all an effort to increase transparency. News reporter Brennan Ponton shows us how it all works. According to the data from Virginia State Police, African-American drivers accounted for about 31% of law enforcement traffic stops in the second half of 2020 and beginning of 2021. Census data says African-Americans make up about 19% of the population of Virginia. This is the kind of information you can now find online through the Virginia Open Data Portal. State lawmakers passed a bill last year requiring police to track data of the people being pulled over, including race, ethnicity, age, and gender, and other data like what resulted from the stop. So as you all know, Governor Northam is committed to building trust between law enforcement and the communities they serve, and this is a really important step in that process. Today, analysts right, from state so police explain how the site um, works. You can examine the information ahead. statewide, regionally, or by a local police department. For example, Virginia Beach's data shows African Americans accounted for 38% of the traffic stops, which is also a higher percentage than their population in the city. Uh, building, the whole thing is about building trust. Gaylene Knoyton is the vice president of Region 1 of the Virginia NAACP. She supports the data being posted. We, didn't, we need to know all of that because there is racial profiling, and we want to stop that racial profiling, um, bi bias profiling. The issue drew national attention in our area when Windsor police controversially pulled over an Army lieutenant late last year. The lieutenant is now suing, and the police department fired one of the officers involved. The town has now hired an outside company to review how officers handle traffic stops. Data from the state shows African Americans accounted for 44% of traffic stops in the town. The data will show exactly, will tell the whole picture. And so I think that's very important that they maintain this data. But the executive director of the Virginia Association of Chiefs of Police, Dana Shrad, says people should not use the data to jump to conclusions. That's raw data. Uh, it has not been analyzed. The Virginia Department of Criminal Justice Services is currently writing an analysis of the data, which is expected to come out soon. Schrad says the analysis will help explain what's really going on and says you can't use the raw data to determine whether a group is being disproportionately pulled over, as there are many factors in play. When an officer pulls someone over for a violation of the law, they have not been able to choose in advance whether that individual is black, white, Hispanic, whatever. And if you want to check out the data, we have the link on WTKR.com. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3. Gun violence.